G'day YouTube, it's Brett here from Overtime Game with you once again. Now, this video, I will be starting my FIFA Career Mode series with Newcastle United on the Xbox 360. Um, we're using FIFA 13, as that's the latest one out. Um, now, for you that don't know, I'm a big Newcastle fan. I'm over from England, so I like my soccer. I know a lot of Americans and stuff like that don't. I don't really blame you. I went off it for quite a while. Come back into it lately. Um, Still get annoyed by all the diving and stuff like that. I'm sure we'll have many chats about that over the course of the series. Um, now, for you that don't know who Newcastle are, they're in the Premier League, which is the top division in England. Uh, we actually finished, I think it was sixth. Could have been higher, could have been lower last season. So we are in Europe. Um, so we're going to be manager of them. And Newcastle have a big French influence in their side. Um, I think now we have eight French players in our side and another couple of French-speaking players. We signed four in January transfer window that were French. Um, so I had an idea for this series that I would take this French influence a bit further and make the whole side French. Every single player is going to be French, which means I'm going to have to um, sell the likes of Tim Krul and Papa Cissé. Um, which I know a lot of Newcastle fans are going to be annoyed about and a lot of you will also be annoyed about because they're top players. But I think it adds more interest, having a French side in the Premier League, basically. And it just adds a bit more excitement and makes me a bit more unique than any of the other ones available. So I've already set everything up. We're using the, um, the downloaded squads, the latest transfer squads. Um, and this is after the transfer window, so they're all completely up to date. We're playing on Legendary, Legendary Difficulty. Which is the hardest. And we've also got Europe set as on with the seed size from the current Champions League and Europe UEFA Cup. So we are in the UEFA Cup. Um, I can't remember what group, but I think we have Toulouse or someone like that in. Um, I could be wrong. If I am wrong, let me know. Um, so let's have a look now. I'll get this underway. As we can see, we're on the home screen right now. So I haven't gone through any of it, I've just set everything up and got us to this point because I didn't want you to have to see me save everything. We're known as Brett Overtime because I didn't really want to give you my real second name just for obvious reasons. Right, let's go in and sell some players straight away. Or at least put the players I want to sell up for sale. Now, Steve Harper, I don't care. I wish I could release him because he's retiring, I can't. Now, Cissé, I'll put up for sale because he's not French. Ben Arthur is French, so it's goodbye. Teote isn't, so he can go too. As much as I like Czech Teote. Tim Krul isn't, he needs to go. Jeffron is, Sissoko is, Colacini's not. I don't like Colacini anyway, I know most Newcastle fans do, but I don't. Uh, Santon needs to go too. Brahimi, who's Brahimi? Who is Brahimi? Sorry, I know all the Newcastle players, but I'm pretty sure he's not a real Newcastle player. He's French, so I'll keep him. Anita, we've only just signed him, so I'll put him on loan. Simpson, I don't like Danny Simpson. I think he's arrogant. He needs to go. Gutierrez needs to go as well. I like Gutierrez, but he's just not my sort of player. Ryan Taylor needs to go. Marvu stays. Steven Taylor needs to go. As does Dan Gosling. Overtown stays. Williamson goes. I know I'm taking apart the team here, but it just makes more fun, doesn't it? James Perch needs to go, and it makes me have complete control of who I bring in as well. Ferguson needs to go. I don't like him. Niall Ranger's an ass. He's, if you don't know, he's just been arrested. Uh, he's just arrogant, basically. Shola Amiovi, long-time Newcastle player, who isn't very good. Go. So can Vukinic. Sami Amiovi, he can also leave. Uh, Bigami, I can't, so we'll put him on loan. Loan. Uh, transfer, sorry. Sale. I like him, so he needs to go on loan anyway. Uh, that's it. Right, now to buy some players, or at least put them on shortlist. Now, I know who I want. I've already done some background research into this, so we need a goalkeeper first if we're selling Cruel. Don't know if you guys know him. I know him as Ruffier. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, let me know. Uh, but I think it is, so that's how we're going to say it for now on anyway. So let's just wait for that to come up. I don't know how long this video is. I can go over 15 minutes now, so that's a good thing. Uh, let's add to shortlist for now, because we won't sign anyone just yet until we sold some. 
Jeremy Menez uh, from PSG. We'll just go to PSG thinking of it. Because I know Menez is spelt slightly different. Uh, I've gone past the French League. It's League 1. PSG. There is one play I'll go for straight away. And that is... Bacali. But first, Jeremy Menez, which I will add to shortlist. Same with Sacco. Let's see if there is anyone else. David Beckham. Oh, I love Bex. I hope you guys listening also do. I think he's fantastic. I love David Beckham. Um, where is he? Oh, is he not there anymore? Is he gone? Of course he has. That's the wrong team. I wanted Marseille. Looking for Jeremy Morel. Uh, where is he? There he is. At Montpellier. Put in a bid for Bacali straight away because I know how much around I can get him for. If I, I think it was Ryan Taylor I gave up la on my last one. So if we have a look, let's find him. There he is, Ryan. Oh no, I'm not giving up Ryan Taylor. He's worth too much. In which case, uh, Adair is staying. Williamson. We'll give up Williamson for him. And five hundred thousand. Uh, it just saves me a little bit of money. I know I'm still paying over the odds for him, but it saves me that little bit of money on actually buying him outright. Right. Let's go down. Um, uh, Lil. Do I need anyone from them? I think I missed someone from Montpellier, which I'll have to go back for in a minute. Um, is there anyone? Yep. Digny. Add to shortlist. Let's go back to Montpellier. Sorry if this bit bores you guys, but it just gives you a bit of intra um, knowledge about what I'm actually doing and who I'm signing and who I'm looking to sign, uh, rather than me just springing stuff on you. Let's put a bid in straight away. I reckon 9 9. Um, I think there is two more players. One I'm not going to add to shortlist for the reason I want it to be a surprise and I want to leave it late to actually buy him. So you have to bear with me on that one. This one is a former Middlesbrough player. Former Middlesbrough striker. You probably already know who he is if you're from England. You might not know him if you're not. And that's Jeremy Ali Adier. Now he's a good player. Old, but good striker. Striker's the thing I need if I'm going to get rid of Cissé. Because then I've just got Jeffron, basically. Well, I basically about it. He's the only French striker, so he's the only one we're keeping. How long is this video going on for? I don't know. Um, but for now, we'll just keep going anyway. So we'll add to shortlist. Right, so there's that all done. Let's advance, see what comes up. I think we get a couple of emails straight away anyway. Let me just see. Right, what's our league objective? Qualify for the Europa League, yep. Semi-final of a cup. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Reach the final of the Europa League, okay. Maybe a bit hard on the difficulty we're playing, but oh well. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Roma's linked. Roma's De Rossi linked with Man City, is about right. Right. So let's have a look, see. Montpellier, a transfer offer unacceptable. They're not interested in the player. Okay, let's just try and buy him out right then. We'll go 1 5. Let's just offer him that. Jeremy, oh no. Marvi, good. I'll give him 8, no, 7 for 3 years. 
Let's leave. Now, let's go straight in to buy Jeremy Menez. View my shortlist. Where is he? At the bottom, of course, because he's the most expensive. Now, I don't want to offer 10. I want to offer 8. And Jonas Gutierrez. Now, hopefully that will get him me. If not, uh, well, it was worth a try, wasn't it? Let's advance. Nothing happened there. And again, transfer. Oh, they want 1.8. Okay, I can give you 1.8. I'm fine with that. But Kelly, I'm actually going to play him a left back, not right back. PSG. They're not interested in him. I bet they are if I increase the cash amount to 9. And it just gives me a way to offload Jonas Gutierrez as well. Without having to spend 10 million. Good, there's the first player signed. Joris Marvu. So, take him off my list. Yep. Advance. We got a transfer offer for Cisse. 8.5 million. No. I'm not even going to counter because they would not go that high. I might actually take him off the transfer list because I remember usually when you don't have him on the transfer list, you get a good 13 million offer for him. So if I do that, it's usually from Arsenal or someone like that. So let's have a look. I think I got 15 million for him last time from Arsenal, thinking of it. Right, now we got offer Bacali. So offer him 10, three years, and an important first team player role. We got transfer offers for Tim Krull and Papa Ciso. Tim Krull, no, I'm not accepting that. I want to include him in a deal at a later date, so. See, say he's valued at 11.5. So if I ask for 13 and a half, I wonder if they'll accept. So if you keep hearing background noise, guys, I'm just keep going between links on my laptop to make sure I'm still up to date. I'm glad the simulation on this isn't as slow as last year. PS3, Menez, okay, I know they accept that, so I'll put that to ten, nine and a half. Good, PSG matched the offer of 13 and a half for Cissé. Oh, it's weird that we've got two deals going on with PSG. Let's just continue. Contract offer accepted. So we got Bacali, which is good. It's another player ticked off the list. Let me just take him off. Now, if there's any other French players you want me to sign, let me know in the comments section below. And uh, I'll look into them, at least. Good. We sold c -Sate. And they've given me 11.5 of it to go into the transfer budget. Which allows me to sign the player I have as a surprise. And you'll think this is big. Especially if I get him. I don't know how much I'm going to have to pay for him. You may have already guessed it. I won't have the wage budget at the moment because I haven't sold people like Teote. But once I have, we'll be fine. And that's right, Benzema. I know what I'm going to give up. And that's 10 million. And Tim Krull. I probably will have to give a bit more. 
probably about 12 million or 13. But if I can snatch him for that, I'm very happy with that. Just see how long this has gone on for. Now we still got time. PSG, Menez. So I just still want more from Menez. If I put that up to hmm, 10. And Gutierrez. Kelly signs competition for Danny Simpson. Well, Danny Simpson's off anyway, so there is no competition. Right, I stopped the video at the first preseason game. And then we'll. I'm not going to play any of the preseason games, we're going to sim them. Uh, they still want more. I'm going to have to offer 10.5. And, and Gutierrez. I don't know who else I can offer, really. Real Madrid want more. So if I offer um, 12, probably going to have to make it up to around 20 million's worth. But oh well. Spurs in talks with Suarez, as always, on this game. Some of the talks on this game is just silly. Transfer offer for Joffre. No, he's not going anywhere. Piss off QPR. He stole Remy from us and he was the player that we should have up front. And he will be a player I am stealing off you at the end of the season when you get relegated. So, we're almost at a pre-season game. It's almost time for us to end the video. Yeah, I will be filming the next, up to the end of pre-season, all at once. And good, the Jeremy Menes deal has gone through. And he wants 60,000. I'll give him 62 and a crucial role for three years. Because he's a big player that I definitely want. We've got a transfer offer for Jonas Gutierrez. We can't accept that because he's going to PSG. Otherwise, it screws up the whole deal. And the whole negotiation process we've just gone through would be awful. So, we're at the... Oh, what's Overton saying? Hey, boss. Oh, I should have Overton. So, we're at the end of the pre-season. At uh, the beginning of the pre-season, sorry. So, I've stopped the video there. And I've put the next bunch of pre-season games all simmed um, on the next video with the rest of the transfer window. And hopefully we'll sign some more players and sell some players. Uh, let me know if you've enjoyed the video, guys. I hope you have. Uh, it's been my pleasure videoing it for you and bringing it to you. Uh, peace out, YouTube. We're heading into overtime.